Hello students, uh, today our topic is uh, uh, basic cost accounting and uh, preparation of a cost sheet or a statement of cost and profit. So we have to prepare a statement of cost and profit and first let us understand what is cost accounting. See the basic term of cost. See. Cost is nothing but aggregate expenditure incurred in producing a product, a goods or a good or a service is called as a cost. Say what is the total expenditure you incurred in manufacturing, in producing a product is called as a cost. Suppose if I want to purchase, if I want to manufacture a pen, what are the expenses I incur in manufacturing this pen? The total expenditure in manufacturing this pen is called as cost. See, what is, there are so many terms are there, basic terms, and I'll tell you what are the differences between these terms. So, we understood what is cost. See, cost is nothing but aggregate expenditure in producing a good or a service a good or a service a product or a service now one more term is there costing what is the meaning of costing Say so costing is nothing but it is the process of ascertaining the ascertaining the cost. See, costing is a method of ascertaining the cost. See, method of ascertaining the cost. See, there are various types of nature of businesses, <coughs> various nature of manufacturing businesses and each manufacturer have got their own method of ascertaining, finding the cost. Cost is nothing but aggregate expenditure, the total expenditure incurred in manufacturing a good or a product or a service. Now in what method you find out, you calculate your total cost is called as costing. Say for example, a manufacturer a manufacturer produces a good. What are the basic, uh, how he find out, how he calculate the cost is, he will calculate what is the material cost for him, what is the labor cost him, and expenses, direct expense incurred for him, what are the factory expenses, what are the administration expenses, what are the uh, selling and distribution expenses, then you, you get the total cost. Say his way of preparing or ascertaining the cost is, we call it as a job costing or a job costing or a batch costing. Say on each batch, on each job, on each job, on each work, you will find out what is the total cost you will incur and you will add his profit, then he can sell at a, the price whatever he wants. So this is what we call it as a costing. Costing is nothing but method of ascertaining the cost. See, if you take for example, a transportation uh, industry or a, a transport service provider, how he charges? Say, for each passenger per kilometer, how he will going to charge? On what basis he will going to charge? So, his method of ascertaining the cost will be different. So he will choose a different method of ascertaining the cost. Like this, each method of ascertaining the cost is called as costing. Now let us under see cost and costing. The difference is here we will find out aggregate expenditure in whatever the method is it is. But costing is nothing but costing is nothing but choosing a particular method in ascertaining the cost he is called as costing. What is cost accounting? See, cost accounting is nothing but recording, classifying, summarizing all the costing details, all the cost details 
in order to find out is total cost or a profit in a systematic manner. See how he systematically prepares, maintains books he is called as cost accounting. Now cost accounting. What is accounting? All we are, all of us we know. So recording, classifying, summarizing all the business transaction in a systematic manner. Right? See that is what we call as accounting. Now cost and cost accounting. We understood. See cost accounting is uh, one of the branch of accounting. Cost accounting is one of the branch of cost accounting. So therefore we use the accounting very uh, often. Now let us understand what are the elements of cost. What are the elements of cost or we also call it as a classification of cost. There are various types of costs are there. So in that when we uh, if you look at the performer on the board we have a cost sheet. Here the cost is classified into 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. So I'll uh, say 5. So first one is prime cost. What is the prime cost? What are the expenses you incur? See cost sheet is nothing but cost is nothing but expenses, aggregate expenses. Am I right? So now cost sheet, sheet is nothing but an expenses sheet. It is nothing but an expense sheet. See a manufacturer when he wants to ascertain what is his total cost or total expenses in manufacturing a product then first what is required to manufacture a product is material is required. So what is the direct material required? What is the direct labor or wages paid to the labor incurred in manufacturing the product? And what are the direct expenses like carriage inwards, okay, power, all these are all. So direct expenses, fuel, all these are all direct expenses. So when you add these basic items, primary items, the primary expenses incurred in manufacturing a product that is called as a prime cost. How have you got it? Say majorly required material, you need labor, you need direct expenses. When you add these three, you get prime cost. To this prime cost, see there is no less items here. Means there is no items that we will deduct it here. Everything is to go into add. See, next one is factory overheads. What is factory overhead? First of all, we, are, we know what is factory. Okay, but what is overhead? Overhead is nothing but an expenses. Apart from the prime cost, what are the other expenses you incur? So that is what overhead is nothing but other expenses. Other expenses in factory, what are the expenses you incur? Say for example, expenses, whatever the expenses you incurred in factory, all such expenses comes under the factory overhead. It may be depreciation on plant and machinery, it may be factory uh, lighting, factory uh, power or factory labor, all these are all, that is we call it as an indirect wages, indirect material. All direct will go to prime cost, all indirect material indirect wages will come to the factory overhead. So like this, there are various expenses which incurred in factory overheads. So factory rent, all these will go to add it here. Once if you add, if you have any work in progress, what is this WIP? <coughs> WIP is nothing but work in progress. We add opening stock of work in progress to the factory overhead. And from that, we deduct closing stock of work in progress. So thereby, if you plus or minus with the factory overhead, whatever the cost you get along with this prime cost, along with this prime cost, along with this prime cost, we call it as works cost or factory cost. Works cost or factory factory cost. To this factory cost, we add administration or office overhead. 
what is this administration or office overhead is all the expenses incurred in administration or establishment or office all such expenses comes under this so we will go to add administration or office overhead here once if you add administration overhead we get cost of production what is this cost of production what is the cost incurred to produce a good that is called as a cost next to this cost of production we add opening stock of finished goods fg is nothing but finished goods and closing stock of finished goods once if you plus or minus with opening stock and the closing stock we get cost of goods sold to this cost of goods sold we also call as a cox c o g s cost of goods sold to this cox we will going to add selling and distribution overhead means all the expenses which are incurred in selling the goods distributing the goods such expenses are called as selling and distribution overhead once if you add selling and distribution overhead to cost of goods sold you get the total cost see once if you know what is your cost then it becomes easy for you to fix what should be your profit and at what price you want to sell say depending on the competition depending on the nature of product or whatever the criteria or objectives for your business profit making whatever it is so on that basis you can fix your profit and you can add profit to your total cost and you can start selling the goods say this is the cost sheet okay pro forma and regarding elements of cost okay guys now let us look at some of the thing sir you explained work in progress over here and finished goods over here sometimes you may not give direct materials in your question materials will not be given directly what material we take it here how much materials we used in manufacturing a product that is what we will take there expenses incurred for materials is nothing but how much material i have used or consumed in manufacturing the goods so when it is not given direct materials or materials consumed or materials used then how do we calculate is <coughs> we calculate we take opening stock of raw material to this opening stock of raw material we add purchase of raw material suppose if you have incurred any carriage expenses carriage expenses regarding purchases we will going to add up here okay minus closing stock of raw material so whatever we get that is called as materials consumed materials consumed see guys very simply a direct material if it is not given in the question now definitely you will be provided opening stock closing stock and purchase of materials so we have so much of raw material as a opening stock beginning of the year and during the year we have purchased so much of materials so totally we had this much and at the end of the year if you find some material in the ground definitely the remaining material you might have used in the production and whatever the total expenses for that material that is called as materials consumed okay so with this uh, we will go to small small questions and how to find out okay uh okay fine